Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tomorrow to, to the, next week's look ahead. <clears throat> We're going to be looking at the uh, er, the uh, economic calendar. It's Gochi uh, Fatoy. May you be prosperous in the year of the dragon. It's the Chinese New Year. They're closed down for the whole week. On Tuesday, we've got the uh, consumer prices coming out of the U.S. Core and uh, month on month and year on year. That's always important and got to keep inflation in check. Uh, we also have it for the, uh, in the UK uh, uh, and uh, Japan. No, excuse me, Japan is GDP. Always important because, as you know, <clears throat> we are at a 34 year high in the Nikkei. It might be said from this point here, this has been, these have been called the lost decades in Japan. The J- Japanese uh, stock market is really booming, uh, mostly on a devalued yen, which makes foreign earnings look better in yen terms because they, those foreign earnings buy more yen and it, 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 it uh, pumps up their balance sheets and rev- in income statements. But nonetheless, um, oh, here we go. Nonetheless, Japan is uh, booming and we want to know what their GDP is. On Thursday, we have uh, UK... GDP coming out, and in the U.S., an important core retail and uh, and the retail sales. Remember, retail sales uh, in, uh, constitute fully 72% of the United States economy. So what happens in retail is what happens to the U.S. economy. Generally speaking, it's a lightweight week. We're going to do a live session on the crude oil inventory report on Monday. We'll start at uh, 3 o'clock uh, and be ready when the report releases at 3.30. Um, But the two things I want you to be well aware of this week, again, Nikkei at a 34-year high, and, oh, here's the Nikkei, uh, this day, the reason I went to that other data set, this data set only goes back to 27, the other data set is is much more inclusive, but it's it's up, the Nikkei is up, excuse me, as well as is the the, uh, S&P 500, the ES contract. So the S&P 500 is an all-time high, we expect that price will fall next week. This is an expectation because of the fact that volume is slowing and these unprecedented prices are likely to set off a a profit-taking round where people sell off at these high prices to realize some profit. And the earnings report season is is largely done, although we still have Walmart and... um, Yes, Walmart and Home Depot. Walmart, of course, being the massive, massive retailer that it is. And Home Depot is an excellent indicator of home improvement spending and uh, consumer confidence because when people spend money at Home Depot, it means they're investing in their homes, their future. They're they're spending serious money on uh, uh, home improvement. So the S&P, we want to go short from 47.92 and get out at 41.50 and uh, take the stop loss at 50.50. That's what we think is going to happen, but keep your eye on it. If it stays above that line, obviously do not go short. Next, uh, we want to take a look at crude. Now, crude looks like it's going to continue up. Uh, The U.S. production seems to have hit a serious limiting plateau. They're they're pumping 13.5 million barrels a day. So we expect crude to continue its upward climb. It's well above the... uh, 2040, 2050, and 200 moving averages. If it um, so, go long at uh, and take profit at 77.92 and get out at 77.66 as a stop loss. Um, we talked about the ES. We talked about the CL. Yes, yes, yes. One of my all-time favorites, ladies and gentlemen, and it ought to be yours too. Lockheed Martin Corporation. Currently, there's a massive shortage of ammunition worldwide for obvious reasons. At the huge armaments show in Riyadh last week, many, many contracts were announced. We expect Lockheed Martin to take a jump on these developments. So we're going to go long above 430 with a take profit at 467 and a, and a stop out at 414. That's the week ahead, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to show you one last um, piece of information. And this is the Aussie dollar, euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen dollar, Swiss dollar, CAD. And these are, this is the result of last week's NFP. Some of these marks are where we got in and traded them and made some money. Um, and 
you can see that they're still in train, despite all of the swaps and the cost of holding these. These these um, uh, trades are still well in the money. They haven't returned. They haven't re come anywhere near where they were before the release. This is an unprecedented phenomena in uh, Forex, an unprecedented phenomena as a result of the NFP. It was a huge blowout, and the effects are still being felt. So talk strong dollar. Talk strong U.S. economy. We'll wait for retail sales next week. Retail sales should be very robust. That's going to do it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Go Chifatoy. Um, may you be prosperous in the year of the dragon. Have a restful weekend, and we'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye for now.